Yes. yes. Oh, okay. That's why. Okay. But the good thing is that el tiempo se va super rápido, right? So time flies. And that is also mm -hmm. important. Okay. So uh, welcome everybody. This is uh, session number three. Okay. Give me just a second. I'm, I'm, I'm sharing here um, today's agenda. Okay, so this is session number three, guys. All right, and this is what we will be doing today. Um, we will be able to use simple present questions. Okay, so today vamos a practicar preguntas. Okay, and uh, sobre todo cómo formularlas. Right, so we are going to be working with this. And um, let me see. And also, we are going to work on. Uh, how to answer them. That is also very important. So here we have the agenda. We are going to get started with the conversation. Then we are going to check uh, the grammar points and then some exercises that we have. And yesterday, algunos me comentaban que estaban teniendo dificultades with the platform. So, um, si, si ese es su caso, right? Um, revisemos que estamos poniendo los puntitos, eh, la puntuación es sea adecuada, comas, puntos, signo de interrogación al final, de question mark, um, o la conjugación correcta, porque por eso eh, algunas veces la plataforma nos da dificultades, right? Solamente um, asegurémonos de estar haciendo o es de estar conjugando los verbos correctamente. No sé si alguien tiene alguna eh, dificultad con la plataforma o estamos bien. Uh, si ya la revisaron, you know. Hoy sí no la pude revisar, teacher. Eh, espero que mañana pueda tener chance para revisarlo y cualquier cosa pues le aviso. Great, that's awesome. Pero sí ya tuvo la oportunidad de entrar. Ya revisó el contenido. ¿No ha tenido dificultades hasta el momento? Eh, sí, ayer le comentaba lo de las eh, quizzes que me habían salido. Pero ah, ya yes. Justo me indicó ya las... <ríe> pero hoy sí no lo pude revisar. Espero que el día de mañana y le mando ahí la... Sí, la vaya, perfecto. Eh, igual si tiene dudas, eh, no dude en contactarme, right? So, lo más fácil es siempre enviar una captura de pantalla para... Eh, para guiarnos en qué parte está y cuál es el ejercicio y así poder solventarle. Um, so, cuando tenga tiempo, no se preocupe. So, try to check it out. No problem. Thanks. Um, welcome. Y lo, los demás, what about the others? Um, bueno, yo no pude comentar de la... Tengo que guardar. I'm so sorry, eh, Daniel, no le pude escuchar. Bueno, yo no le pude mandar la screenshot porque no tengo el WhatsApp que usted lo busqué en el correo que me mandaron y en el número de WhatsApp que me escribieron, pero no sé si ese es el, el, el que usted maneja. Me eh, mandaron la invitación. Uh -huh. para, yeah, para... Creería que ese es... Well, sí, en el correo aparece el grupo. Eh, yo soy agregada, uh -huh. si no, igual acá se lo comparto en el chat. Ah, oh, perfecto. Ahí puede revisarlo y no, no tenga pena en escribirme. Ahí estamos. Eh, cualquier dificultad que tenga con la plataforma para darle seguimiento, ¿verdad? Se los compartí, okay. se los dejo acá en el chat. No, no se preocupe. All right. So, ok. Eh, si tienen comentarios, se los agradecería que nos hagan llegar porque de esa manera solventamos, ¿verdad? Y de la forma más, más rápida posible. So, eh, well, now let's just move on. Veo que se nos han agregado un par de personas más. We have like a couple of more people. Uh, we have Wendy also. And we have Gabriela. So welcome. Also we have Silvia and Maybelline. Mirna se nos está conectando too. Awesome. All right. So this is uh, activity number one. So we are going to practice a conversation. Okay. The name is I get up soon. So, I am going to read it and repeat after me. So, repitamos, please. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to the park on Sunday. 
Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. I sleep, I sleep late, late, late on, on weekends. weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? What time do you get up on Sundays? Sunday? At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. Oh, oh that's, that's early. early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat, do you eat do breakfast you then? Breakfast then. This is it and this is breakfast. Do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast Do you eat breakfast then? Breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Sure, I have breakfast, I have breakfast every day. Every day. Uh, then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. Then, then let's meet at uh, this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. They serve breakfast all day. They serve breakfast all day. Perfect. Now I have some questions for you. Take a look at this question. What time do you get up on Sundays? Amy dice que okay, at 10 o'clock, okay? What about you? What time do you get up on Sundays? ¿A qué hora se levantan on Sundays? At 7 o'clock. Okay, that's uh, early. At 7 o'clock. Okay, at 7, at 10, anybody else? ¿Alguien más? At 9 o'clock. Okay, at 9 o'clock. Anybody else? At 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock, okay. Alguien se levanta en la tarde. Do you get up at 1 or 2 p.m.? Who said 1? Kevin, okay, so 1 p.m. Okay, what about 2? ¿Quién le gana? 2 p.m.? Nobody, right? We are early birds. So nos levantamos temprano, all right. So this is normally uh, when we are asking questions. What about this one? Do you eat breakfast? Do you eat breakfast every day? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, you do? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, no. very good. So um, this person says uh, he, yeah, he has breakfast every day as well. Okay. Now let's take a look at questions. Previously, we checked uh, questions and we were talking about the structure. So, this is the structure for questions. We have do, then we have subject, um, and then we have a verb, but if we have third person singular, we are going to use does. Um, so, do you get up early? Does your sister get up early? Does your brother get up early? So, do, we use it for I, you, we and they, and we use does or third person singular. That is what we have right here. And if you pay attention, it says here, the base form of the infinitive. To go, to need, to speak, to live, ya no lo utilizamos. We don't use to over here. Y tampoco, this is very important, third person verb, lose the final S in questions. So when you see a question here, we cannot add letter S, right? So no le agregamos S, va el verbo solito. So this is very important. Now, here we have some questions, like, do you speak English? Um, does he speak English? And this is what we are going to answer. Esas es son yes, no questions. So mi respuesta es bien limitada. Uh, yes, I do. No, I don't. Y eso es todo, all right? A menos que yo quiera dar información. Oh, yes, I speak English. Or no, I don't speak English. Puedo darle ahí. And that's okay. That's just fine. Um, do you have any question? <laughs> Practicando preguntas. Do you have any question with this? En cómo hacer preguntas. Yo, mm, teacher, solamente no entendí lo del recuadro como naranja. Donde está tachado el tú. 
Oh, yeah, uh, this part. Okay. It says here, the base form of the infinitive. Normalmente usted va a encontrar los verbos con un to. Uh, siempre que vea una lista de verbos, hay algo que se llama infinitive, que es la forma base de su verbo. So, aparecen todos con to. To go, to eat. Um, ustedes están familiarizados con el verbo to be. Ok. So, es porque lleva un to. Pero acá, cuando hay preguntas, nunca le agregamos to. Por ejemplo, do you to go? Esto no se puede. Entonces decimos solamente, do you go? ¿Vas a las fiestas? Do you go to parties? ¿Vas al parque? Do you go to? Do you go to the park? El to lo lleva acá, después de go. Pero no puede ir antes. Uh -huh. Lo mismo con Do you one. go to the park? Después del Perfect. primer verbo. Do you go to okay. the park? Pero el to okay. es solamente con el verbo go. No todos los verbos lo ameritan. Por ejemplo, los más comunes son go to y listen to. Por ejemplo, escuchas. Escuchas las noticias. Do you listen to the news? Do you go to the church? So go and listen, llevan to. Los demás no es necesario, right? Depende de cada verbo. So, por eso es que está tachadito acá, okay? all right? Porque no se le agrega to antes del verbo. Are we okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Antes no, no llevo a este el to antes del verbo, sino hasta después. Depende del verbo. Si es el verbo go eh, and listen, sí, yo llevan el to. Sí. Pero, okay. por ejemplo, si yo tengo otro verbo like speak, si se fija acá, you have, do you Ajá. speak English? No dice, do you to. Do speak to, to English, ni Exacto. do you to speak to English. Exacto, no, no llevan, no, no requieren, all right? So, por eso es que okay. está tachadito acá. Uh -huh. And, mm. y eso es bien importante, es, en preguntas nunca lleva ese, all right? So, do you like By, as you like? Porque es pregunta. Is the verb in the basic form? This is, um, lo que sucede es que base form se le llama um, al to. Pero sí, digamos que es el verbo sin modificaciones. So, the verb uh -huh. with no changes, with no modifications. Mm -hmm. okay. That's right. Okay. Um, any other question? Preguntas, preguntas, anything? No. No. Okay, great. Uh, great, because it is your time to practice, your time to shine. <laughs> okay, so take a look at this part. We have here some exercises. El día de ayer alguien me preguntaba de algunos ejercicios con la plataforma, right? So today, les traigo un par de ejercicios similares to the platform para que practiquemos a little bit. So let's uh, say... Teacher. Yes, Mr. Teacher, give me a second. Give okay. me a second. Yes, uh, sure. And the platform is on um, Zoom app or is other platform? No, no, no. Uh, Mr. Carrillo, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, let, let me move to Spanish. En el momento que se le envió el correo, right? Eh, recibió yeah. un acceso. Ya le brindo como le aparece. En su correo le aparece un acceso a la plataforma. Dice... Let me see. Le aparece como URL de curso. Y aparece como online inglés corporativo.net courses. Y le aparece un código. Solamente le da clic en el link y automáticamente lo va a direccionar a la plataforma que tenemos. Um, uh, dos componentes: la clase virtual y la plataforma. Pero necesita pasar. Eh, su clase, la, la plataforma, ¿verdad? El 80% para hacer un passing score, para poder aprobar. Ah. Yeah, uh, the question is about, about this. Uh -huh. But I, I am, no he podido entrar ni una sola vez a la, a la, a la plataforma. Es decir, es, prácticamente a esta hora yo llevo tres días que no he hecho sin nada. Entrar. Uh, Ajá, correcto. Eh, este es el primer mes que usted está con nosotros. Ya. Yeah. Si gusta, eh, cuando terminemos, me escribe para, eh, para indicarle cómo ingresar y para verificar que todo está bien con su, con su acceso. Oiga. Ah, ok. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, no problem. Sí, porque tenemos que empezar a trabajar. All right? Sí, correcto. Gracias. Ok, no problem. So, everybody, let's take a look at the exercises we have right here. Ok. Help me, please. Vamos a utilizar do and does to complete the exercises. 
So, number one, Peter live with his father. Let me see, Daniel, number one is yours, please. Uh, does Peter live with his father? Very good, that's okay, that's Peter. Number two, number two is for Wendy. Hello, Miss Ortega. Hello. Can you help me with number two, please? Uh, do you learn Spanish? Perfect, that's all right. Saul, hello. Can you help me with number three? Hello. Uh, I'm Martin Wright. By uh, no, Celia. Uh, I'm Martin Wright by to school. Mm -hmm. Here, vamos a utilizar do or does, uno de los dos auxiliares, right? Only one. Sería, uh, do, Andrés, I didn't ride the bike is to school. All right, I'm so sorry, no le escuché el inicio. Um, which do you think is do. right? Okay, perfect. Do, okay. Andrew and Martin. I do. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, ¿Por qué do? Because if you pay attention, tenemos a dos personas, right? So, do they? Do Andrew and Martin. Um, number four. Number four is four. Let me see. Stanley, hello. Can you help me with number four? Stanley? Hello? All right, I guess he can listen to me. Mr. Aguilar, are you around? Mr. Jorge Aguilar? Do they play in the garden? Perfect, that's okay, thank you. Um, what about number five? Uh, let me see, Cecilia, do you have number five? Does Sandy's hamster live in a cage? Excellent. And number six, can you help me with number six? Let me see, we have Mirna. Does the cat is sit on the wall? Very close, but there is something here very tricky. Hay algo aquí que está haciendo trampa, es la S, all right? So, significa que esto es plural. Es cierto. Does the cat, does the cat sit, on, sit on the wall? El otro? The other auxiliary? Do the cats? Do. Do the cats sit on the wall? Okay. So, veamos por qué do, all right? So, es un poquito tricky. It's a little bit tricky here. Because, siempre que usted vea F here, indica que es un plural, all right? So, for plurales, we use do, ya que serían they, all right? So, you were very, very close. Eso es bastante, nos hace trampa sometimes, okay? So, no worries. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody. So, now, I am going to give you a couple, I will give you like three, four minutes, and I want you to write questions, okay? Personal questions about your family. Porque luego vamos a entrevistar un par de compañeros, okay? So, what I want you to do is to write in your notebook, okay, three questions, five questions, todas las que podamos en tres minutos, all right? All the questions you can. But no les pongamos nombre, all right? Not like Peter, but let's try to make it with family. For example, do you live with your parents? Does your brother work? Does your sister study? So, preguntas eh, que no lleven nombre, ya que vamos a entrevistar a un compañero, all right? Are we okay? Yeah. Perfect. So I will give you three minutes. I am right here. So if you have questions, if you alguna duda, please let me know.
Hi there. Hello, hello. Any question? Do you have any question? No. Teacher, what does it mean cage? A cage. Um, have you ever seen a hamster? Mm -hmm. okay. Hamster cage? Uh, a hamster? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hamsters, normally they are put like in a, in a little square. Uh -huh. So that, yeah. is, that is a cage, una jaulita. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a cage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we ready? Si tienen una, it's fine. Si tienen más de una, it's okay. So no worries. ¿Cuántas tienen? How many do you have? Five. Oh, Five okay. Questions. Great. Okay. Very good. What about the rest? Have una, five. Una. Okay, five questions. Five questions. Kevin, how many do you have? Four questions. Four questions. Perfect. That's okay. Si lograron hacer una pregunta, it's awesome. Okay, so no worries. <laughs> so everybody. I mean, it's, remember that is part of the process. So, acá estamos like eh, intentando recordarnos un poquito de nuestras clases anteriores. Así que todo es ganancia. No hay problem. Um, vamos a practicarlas. We are going to practice some of the questions you have. So voy a mandarlos a pequeños grupos para que tengamos más oportunidades de practicar. All right. And uh, interview your classmates. Si tenemos preguntas, please let me know. Um, voy a estar monitoreándolos. All right. So estoy acá. No me van a escuchar. You cannot listen to me. But, um, but if you have any question, me pueden escribir al chat, all right? O me, me indican ahí, ayuda, okay? So, I'll be there. So, let's join the groups, please. So, we go in one, two, and three. There we go. Unámonos a los grupos, please. Hi, Saul. Can you hear me? Oh. From San Salvador? Um, no. Uh... I don't. I live in uh, La Libertad. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um, Kevin. Um, yes. Do you have any brother or sister? Mm. I. Do you have? Yes, I do. I I have. Um, uh, two brothers. Okay. Okay. Les pregunto. Okay. Kevin, does he okay. speak English? Uh, excuse me? Does he speak English? Uh, no, he doesn't. Hello, hello. Okay, that's actually a really good question. 
Um, and it's a little bit difficult. Es difícil a veces contestar porque no, no sabemos eh, de quién me pregunta, right? So, for example, eh, with your question, Mr. Aguilar, podemos ser un poco más específicos. And uh, preguntarle, por ejemplo, al hermano, that's your brother, y cambiamos el he for your brother. Y lo haría más personal. So, oh. mm -hmm. I mean, that's a great question. So, does your brother speak English? Solamente hagamos un pequeño cambio para que ya se, se ubique un poco. And you will be fine. O quizás porque le pregunté, does he? Y le pude haber preguntado, does, no, do, do you speak English? I mean, su pregunta estuvo bien. Your question is, is good, actually. Está súper ah. bien estructurada. I mean, no, it's fine. Uh, but creo que era sobre el hermano, right? Sí, solamente como ser un poco específicos. Oh, and does your brother speak English? Para ah, ubicarse okay. también. Ajá, so it's okay. Okay, okay. Not a problem. So, Gracias. Um, you know, you're fine. So, Kevin, does your brother speak English? Eh, no, he doesn't. Okay, he doesn't. Wendy, do you have a brother? I have two brothers. Oh, two brothers. Do they speak yes. English? Um, no, no, no. Uh, they, do, they don't. Okay, very good. Mr. Aguilar, do you have brothers or sisters? Uh, no, no, I don't. Oh, sorry. Okay, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, but es, sus respuestas están cortitas, están bien, bien um, you know, Let's say they are correct. So very good. Okay, very good job. Give me just a second. Voy a ir a monitorear los demás. All right. So keep practicing. Si okay. pueden incluir más preguntas, it's all right. Give okay. me just a second. Marilyn, do you like other language? Yes, I... I like Italian. Oh. And you, Gabriela? Uh, repeat question. Do you like other language? Language, ¿qué es, qué significa language? Lenguaje. Otro lenguaje, si le gusta otro lenguaje. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, <laughs> eh, uh, francés, French, French. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, hello there. Very good questions and answers. Okay, that's really good. Um, so I heard Marilyn, you like Italian. Was it Italian? Perdón. Uh, did you say you like Italian? Yeah. Okay, so Italian, Gabriela likes uh, French, and Jennifer, what about you? I like French, okay. Italian, and uh, Jap Japanese. Oh, okay, okay, and Japanese, very good. That's okay. Can you speak any other language? Uh, no. no. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> no. Say in process, I'm learning. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, okay, very good. ¿Cómo vamos con las preguntas? ¿Tienen alguna duda? Are we fine? Yo tengo una pregunta. Uh, tell me, Marilyn. Uh, cuando, por ejemplo, si yo quiero preguntar si le gusta comer, hay dos verbos. Ahí sí es correcto. Do you like to eat? Uh, sí, actually, I no, mean. Déjenme compartirlo por acá. So, eso sería, right? Do you like? Sí. Pero tengo la razón. Tengo like y tengo it. No se puede tener dos verbos. Entonces lo que hago es para separarlo, utilizo to y esto sí ya se puede. Es como son diferentes, pero esto solamente... Lo permiten algunos verbos, como en el caso de like. Más adelante va a ver que también puedo hacer lo siguiente. Uh, puedo tener like 
puedo poner, agregarle y en el like, do you like eating? Uh -huh. But lo va a estudiar. Well, lo vamos a reestudiar later. Así que por el momento, yes, sí se puede. You can do it. Oh. Uh -huh. Do you like to eat um, pizza, for example? Do you like to eat onion and things like those? So, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Not a problem. Uh, any other question? Yes. Eh, estaba viendo en la plataforma, por ejemplo, el uso de... ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Porque ahí decía, ¿cuántas habitaciones hay en tu casa? Algo así. Okay. Y ocupaban el what. Eh, ¿Por qué no...? Perdón, perdón. Está en la sección, en la sección número 2, ¿verdad? En la 3. Eh, no, oh, en la 2, sí, perdón. La... Dos, ah, okay. dos, dos, I was dos, like, oh, sí. I'm so happy. I'm so no, no. Happy. En la 3, vaya. No, en la 2. Okay. Pero ahí lo ponen con what y no sé si es, ¿por qué no? Ponen? Perdón, perdón. Eh, eh, ¿Cuál fue la pregunta? ¿Aparece what? What y no how many. O sea, ¿es correcto usar what en cuántos? Para decir cuántos. Mm, tendría que revisar específicamente cuál es el contexto en el que lo utilizaron. Pero para indicar un número, si, si le pido un número, si ¿sí sería mm. how many o how, how much, many. ¿verdad? Ambos se pueden, uno para contable y otro para no contable, lo cual ya vamos a verlo. Pero okay. what, a menos que le esté pidiendo... El, um, no el número, sino el nombre, por ejemplo, like, what is your favorite room? Okay. Or what can you find in the bedroom? Entonces, no le pido un número, sino eh, que me nombre específicamente. Qué es lo que, exacto, exacto, o los objetos, right? Pero si es un número el que le pide, si sería how much, well, how much es un estimado, or how many, que si le pide one, two, three, or four. Si tiene, eh, si tiene una captura, si usa, me la, me la comparte en WhatsApp eh, para revisarle eh, e indicarle. No problem, that's okay. Okay, girls. Las dejo un segundo. Keep on practicing. You're doing a really good job. And ya casi regresamos, all right? Déjenme ir a ver un grupo más como esta. Hello, hi everybody. Thank you very much for um, joining the meeting back, all right? So, creo que nos faltan a couple, pero ya se nos van a unir. All right, let me just share my screen one more time. Okay, there we go. Let me see. Okay, creo que la mayoría ya está acá. So, um, before, estábamos revisando the use of do and does, all right, in short, uh, in yes, no questions. And uh, les traigo extra vocabulary here. I have some extra activities or extra verbs. So, um, si les funciona, pueden tomar una captura. You can take a picture. Y vamos a trabajar con el vocabulario, right? So, vamos a incluir este vocabulario. Uh, dentro del propio. So, siempre que tengan la oportunidad, intenten memorizar vocabulario nuevo you know, y agregarlo a su propio vocabulario. So, yeah. um, we have, for example, uh, I have the pictures here. Oh, give me a second. Oh, give me just a second. Um, 
Okay. Oh, uh, hold on. The computer got crazy here. Okay. Give me just a second. Okay, there we go. So um, if you pay attention here, we have the, the verb, and also we have a picture that tells you the action, okay? So for example, we have laugh. What is the meaning of laugh? Reír. Okay, that's okay. But not just a smile, no sonreír, sino reírse, right? Mm -hmm. We have, for example, build. What is the meaning of build? Build, construir. Very good, that's okay. What about clapping? What's the Aplaudir. meaning of clap? Right. Clap is applauded. Clap, right? Um, mm -hmm. What about kicking? What is kick? Kick is patada. Exactly. Patada or patear. De dar una patada, right? Or, uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. Also, we have this one, John. What is this? Bustezo. <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, yeah, so it's the, the, the action, okay? Uh -huh. um, and we have also hug. What is hug? Abrazar. Abrazar, exactly, the action. So um, we have like some words, and I really like it because it's easier. So let's take a look at the following. So ya crearon sus propias preguntas, right? So es lo que acabamos de hacer. And now we are going to try to interview. A classmate. So, <clears throat> ¿cómo vamos a hacerlo? We are going mm -hmm. to interview one person. Okay. Vamos a tomar notas. Y luego vamos a trans, a decirlo, a compartir lo que nos dijo en tercera persona. If you remember, ayer revisábamos que le agregamos letter S a algunos verbos. Okay. For example, do you wake up early every day? Imagine, for example, necesito un voluntario. I need a volunteer. Hello. I'm here. Oh, I'm sorry. Who's talking? Oh, Daniel. Thank you. Sorry, no podía ver quién era. Okay, Daniel. Imagine you are my, my partner. Okay. Y todo lo que me diga, yo lo voy a compartir con. He. Okay. So first, Daniel, do you wake up early every day? Um. Yes, I do. I wake up. I wake up at. For 4 a.m. Some, some time. Okay. So, voy a anotar lo que me diga. I'm going to write it down. Y luego tengo que decirle. Oh, Daniel wakes up at 4 a.m. every day. Okay. So, ya les estoy compartiendo lo que me dijo. Okay. Um, I go with the next question. Uh, Daniel, does your best friend watch movies? At night? Um, yes, she does. Um, she likes to uh, she likes to see uh, watch uh, horror movies. Okay. What is the name of your best friend? Uh, her name is Diana. Her name is Diana. Okay. So I will say, oh, Diana watches. You said horror, right? Horror. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. So uh, Diana watches horror movies at night. Um, I yeah. go with my next question. Do you have breakfast every day? Um, yes, I do. I, I have my breakfast uh, at 8 a.m. Okay. And what do you eat for breakfast? No, it's the key. Okay, but I want to know <laughs> what do you eat for breakfast? Uh, well, uh, sometimes I, I eat um, eggs with bread and beans. Okay. And the other times I drink a meal with a, a, a cereal. I don't know. Cereal. Cereal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, tengo que decirles lo que Daniel me dijo. All right. Pero como ustedes están bien atentos, mm -hmm. I know that you're paying attention. Necesito preguntar. <laughs> ¿Qué dijo? What did he say? Veo que Sergio nos quiere compartir, you know. So, Sergio, tell us. What did he say? Bueno, más o menos entendí que me sonaba que... 
Eres de esta, de esta. Do you have breakfast every day? So, desayuno todos los días. Do you have breakfast every day? ¿Qué fue lo que dijo? Uh -huh. ¿Y? Eh, cereal. Leche Aquí y cereal. Ok. Leche pero... y cereal. Ok. Eh, huevos y frijoles. Ok. Thank you. Mm, that's it. Ok. So now, quiero decirlo en inglés. How can you say that? Or, uh, o alguien que quiera ayudar a Sergio? Anybody? He is being in bread. Ok. And sometimes cereal with milk. Excellent. What time? What time does he eat breakfast? Um, sometimes. I don't remember. Okay. At uh, 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Okay. Thank you, my belly. Uh, thank you, Jennifer. Uh, Daniel, what time do you eat breakfast? Um, I ate uh, at 8 a.m. Okay, so Maybelline was very close. Okay, thank you. That was pretty good. Okay, so eso es lo que vamos a hacer. This is what we will do. Okay, so um, take a look at these questions. Veamos las preguntas. Tomémosle una captura. If you can, please take a picture of it. O si se recuerdan de ellas, awesome. Okay, that's perfect. Vamos a practicarlos en pareja, solamente con una persona más. Vayamos tomando nota and try to share that. Si se les dificulta, ayudémonos, right? So help each other. Antes de irnos a grupos, do you have any question or are we ready for it? I'm ready. Ready? Yes, excellent. That's the attitude. Okay, let's go for it. Unámonos al grupo, please.
Only that. Yo estudié en UCA. Ah, ok. Inglés. Ok. Pre um, pregunto yo entonces. Sí. Ok. Eh, do we have breakfast every day? Um, no, I don't. Only sometimes. Ok. Eh, do your sister like to speak the English? Um, no, she doesn't because I don't have sister, any sister. Okay. Do you wake up early every day? Yes, I do. I wake up at seven o'clock every day. Okay. Great, actually, very nice questions and answers. Very good pronunciation also. Yeah. Very good job, guys. Okay, that's really good. Um, so I guess Sergio, you finished, right? Ya le hicieron las preguntas, you got the questions. Sí. Ah, okay, okay, yes. very good. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm really glad to. Ahora, the thing is, que tienen que hablar del otro. You have to talk about the other person. So, for example, Wendy, usted nos va a contar de Sergio. And Sergio, you are going to tell us about Wendy. Okay. Okay. So, ¿qué fue lo que dijera? What do you say? Okay, I start. Okay, great. Okay, um, Sergio says... Um, well, I, um, I answer, I, I, I do a question. Does uh, he wake up early every day? And she okay. says, yes. Okay. So, um, we can, we can uh, share the answers to make it easier, just like. Um, Sergio wakes up early every day. Oh, okay. That, that will be easier to, to share the information. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Sergio wake up early every day. And then Sergio has a sister. Okay. And uh, her, his sister like to speak English. Uh, she has studied in the UCA. Awesome, okay, that's good. Yes. All right, okay. So, solamente, no se olvide la S, okay. Perfect, that's all right. Sergio, your turn. Mm, lo que me confirmó era que, bueno, me cuesta más para ofrecer todo. Pero... No se preocupe, no problem. So, lo que se recuerda de Wendy, whatever you remember. Y si no invéntaselo, it's fine. No. Yes. I don't. Ok, go ahead. No, sister, mencionó que no. No ah, tiene hermana, I don't know, sister. Ok, so, mm. entonces uh, va, vamos. Uh, remember, si se le hace un poco difícil, entonces vamos a la estructura original. Eh, si se le facilita de esta forma, escríbelas primero. Por ejemplo, comienzo con Wendy, que sería el sujeto. Luego necesito sí. un verbo y luego necesito complemento, right? Vamos a la estructura. Ok, aquí. entonces sería so, eh, Wendy uh -huh. no have sister. Pero como es negativo, necesito un auxiliar. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? Do or does? Eh, does. Ok, so Wendy does y como es negativo, does not. Okay. Y luego Wendy un does verbo. not. Uh -huh. Sister. Necesito un verbo. Acá no vamos todavía con el verbo. Este es el auxiliar. Auxiliary. Necesito un verbo. Wendy doesn't. How do you say? How do you say tener? Excuse me. How do you say tener? Ella no tiene hermanas. So. Ah, ok. Ok. Sería entonces. Wendy doesn't. How do you say? The sister. Wendy doesn't have a sister. 
Así y es. Eso, exactly. Y eso es todo. So, Wendy doesn't have a sister. Or, Wendy doesn't have a doesn't sister. Exacto. Esa es la forma negativa. So, si okay. quiero decir ella no, so, she doesn't. Y luego el que. All right. She doesn't have, she doesn't like. Okay. Very good. Okay. Emma, what else, eh, Sergio? Eh, Wendy. Sería. No, that's in learning every day. Uh, Wendy? Okay, can you repeat, please, Wendy? Wendy? No, that's in early every day. Wendy doesn't, okay, eso es el auxiliar. Pero necesito una acción, ¿cuál es la acción? I need wake a verb. Oh, very good. She doesn't sí. wake up early every day. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Y así lo vamos estructurando. So, si se le facilita okay. esta forma, escríbala. Write it down. No problem. Okay. Sí, aquí lo estoy escribiendo. Okay, perfect. That's okay. Okay, everybody. Give me just a second. Le voy a brindar un minuto más y regresamos. Then we go back. Déjenme ver a los demás cómo van también. Thank All you. right. Welcome. No problem. Thank you. Se llama... Ok, me dejaron colgado. No, ahí está. Ahí okay. está. Eh, te pones así frente al espejo. I woke up early. I am a... I am a best people. Siempre practicando frente al espejo, diciéndote cosas positivas, obviamente, que te van a servir. No... No va a decir, ah, I am ugly, oh, I'm very fat. No, o sea, eso no te, no te va a ayudar en nada. O sea, sí te sirve para hacer más grande el vocabulario, obviamente, pero no te sirve para tu autoestima propia. I really like that. That's awesome. And that is the best we can do. <laughs> Hello. ¿Cómo vamos? How are you doing here? Uh, I'm you... finishing the breakfast. Oh, you're finishing practice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's really good. Um, dando tips. <laughs> excuse me? Me estaba dando tips. Yeah, y la práctica de estar enfrente del espejo es una de las mejores, you know? Usted se ve de su expresión facial, ve como el movimiento de los labios es bien importante, de los dientes, you know? And, um, and y es bien importante saber cómo sueno, escucharme en voz alta, right? So, I really like that practice. Honestly. Y sirve para perder el miedo. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. So, si tiene tiempo, you know, well, no si tiene tiempo, hagamos el tiempo. Let's make the time to do it, you know. One minute, so get a minute. Uh, cuando se levanten, eh, si encuentre, por ejemplo, una expresión, una frase en inglés que le gusta, so repítasela, repeat it every single day. Le, le ayuda con pronunciación. I'm successful. <laughs> Yes, I'm great. I'm awesome. Oh, I'm yeah. awesome. This is the best day of my life. So this is a perfect day. This is so, the day of the star of my rest of my life. Yeah, I mean, whatever like nice expression comes to your mind or lo que haya encontrado que usted considera que es positivo, of course. But but yeah, it works a lot. So, um, well, with the practice, uh, do you have any question? Do you have... Uh, Um, any comment on it? Or oh, some of them? Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Marilyn? Sí, estamos bien. Okay. Awesome. That's really good. <laughs> so let's go to do the main section. Okay. Give me a second. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. Oh, Maybelline, I saw you some seconds ago. I know, sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was uh, some minutes ago. How was your practice? Practicaron? Did you practice? Did you have the, the opportunity to um, ask questions, to answer questions? Preguntaron? Yes. Vieron? Yes. Obviously. <laughs> okay, awesome. That is great. So
So, wait just a minute hasta que todos regresen. So, um, well, we have just a couple of minutes left. We have two minutes. So, vamos a terminar con el último valiente y así cerramos el día de hoy, ¿ok? We are Ooh. going to listen to one more person. And uh, so, no va a responder preguntas, solo nos va a contar. You're going to tell us qué fue lo que el compañero le dijo, what your classmate said, okay? Ah, uh, okay. So, he wakes up, he likes, he listens, he eats. So, one person. I have Mr. Carrillo, I have Daniel. So, ellos nos, compañero anterior, uh, nos compartieron anteriormente. So, I have Jennifer. So, me gustaría escuchar al resto. I would like to listen to one more person. No he escuchado mucho, let me see. Uh, Miss Palacios, Mr. Hernández also. Uh, let me see, Miss Morales. Oh, any volunteer? Hi, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer, tell us. Um, okay, solamente digo las respuestas. Um, well, sería como contarnos, all right? ¿Quién fue su compañero? Who was your party? Permítame. Soy mala para los nombres. No worries. ¿José Rivera? Oh, ok, ok, José Rivera. So, nos voy a contar de él. Like, um, José y luego el resto. Um, José wakes up, José likes, José doesn't like, and things like those. Ok. Um, José... Eh, He doesn't wake up early. Okay. <laughs> He wake up at 10 a.m. Okay. Okay. Um, his best friend doesn't like watch TV, okay. watch movie. Um. He he had breakfast breakfast okay. every day. Okay. Eats pupusas. Oh, okay. Every day. Does he eat pupusas every day? He tell me uh, yes. Oh, <laughs> every day. Okay. 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 So that um, is a characteristic of Salvadorian. <laughs> Yes. Uh, her his sister mm -hmm. doesn't like English. Oh, that's so sad. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, perfect. Very good job. Nice. Uh, Jennifer, that was really good. Very good use of English. Very good pronunciation. So uh, thanks. That was pretty good. Very nice job. Okay. Um, so everybody, before letting you go, uh, time is over. But uh, please, los que me comentaron que tienen dificultades, send me a screenshot or send me, um, you know, a message, please, in WhatsApp to um, give the follow, to do the, the follow up, right? So thank you, everybody.